Lieutenant John Junior Mare claims to have been tortured by a senior UPDF officer who accused him of insubordination, arson and drunkenness. Lieutenant Mare, who narrated his audio to NTV, says in July 2015, fellow soldiers picked him from a drinking joint on the orders of his boss, Major Ramadan Gidodo. He claims to have been tortured and disabled. Major Gidodo was then the officer in charge of the military police detached in Ruzira prison. He says he sought permission from Major Gidodo to go to State House Nakasero after securing an appointment to meet President Yoweri Museveni. And when he returned, he informed his boss, Major Gidodo, and then proceeded to relax with his friends. But at about midnight, Phil Soldier came to the joint and summoned him outside. When he called me outside, of course, when I saw him, I had to get out. Reaching outside, I met there are more five soldiers. Putting on civilians, all of them, they were handling batons. They said, I found the OC, I found the Gidudu, he's calling in the barracks. I said, but it's too late. When he declined, he claims that the soldiers called Major Gidudu, who reportedly ordered them to beat him up. They had batons. They, they, they began dragging me down, kicking me, using batons, beating my ankles. Putting me down, dragging me totally. So when we entered the barracks, prisons, they began carrying me, throwing me down, carrying me, throwing me, uh, throwing me down, carrying me, throwing me down, kicking me until we reached inside the barracks. He says the torture got worse after he was taken before Major Gidudu, who was waiting for him. They tied me, my hands back, at the back, Kandoya. He started beating me. Beating me, beating this soldier, beating me, kicking me, beating until this stick he had, he was holding, was broken. Then he said, You take him to his house so that he puts on a uniform. Now he wanted to use that one as a camouflage and take photos as if I was, I was outside on a uniform. So I refused to put on a uniform. He claims that due to the beating, his hand, toe, and tooth were broken. He displays the pictures. Lieutenant Mare also showed NTV a wound which he claims was inflicted by a red-hot machet. They immediately left. Kumbe had put a panga on a hot plate. So, I saw, but he was beating me saying that he wanted to burn me in the house. That is the word he was using. So, he, he brought a panga and placed it on my leg. Say, you wanted to burn me now, you just feel this fire. Feel this hotness. He burnt me, as you can see this leg. At times it gets paralyzed. It, has, it is seasonary. At times I don't walk properly and it's the right hand. He was charged before the unit disciplinary court with insubordination, arson and drunkenness and remanded in Makinde police barracks. Despite the pain, he was kept there without treatment. But when Chief of Staff Land Forces Brigadier Leopold Kanda visited Makindye, he saw Lieutenant Mwari's condition and ordered his transfer to Bombo Military Hospital for treatment. So instead of taking me back, instead of taking me back, instead of taking me to the ward I was supposed I was supposed to be admitted, they carried me back into ambulance. This officer in the charge who took me there, he said that the commandant, military police, Colonel Kanyesu had ordered him not to leave me behind. So they carried me eventually back in the ambulance, taking me back. To march in the prison without any even a single a single tablet. Lieutenant Mare says he was given bail, but somehow his torment has ensured that he goes back to prison and his condition got worse in jail. It was a season rain, the solar region could come and pass through me. So I wrote to the commandant, I explained to him what is happening. I said I found it. When I went for a bail, I began getting treatment from Murago. But now I'm here and the orders are saying that it's you ordered that I should not even get out of, out of, the, of, the, of the gate from the barracks. How am I going to access medication? And the tent here is very old, water it is passing through it. Sincerely, I, I tried to explain writing to him. Afande never responded. Worried that he would die from prison, Lieutenant Mare was taken back to Bombo for treatment. He was later convicted by the Makindia Unit Disciplinary Court and sentenced to a one-year jail term. His jail term ended on 24th July and was released. He now wants to be retired from the army and compensated. This hand can no longer hand a gun because now it's almost it's coming to a year when it does not function. This hand cannot do anything. If they pay me 
tomorrow man I get I can sit somewhere if it's sell tomatoes I will sell but uh, I see even now my future in the army cannot see any future this major has spoiled my future UPDF spokesperson Lieutenant Colonel Paddy Ankunda says he's not aware of Lieutenant Mwari's case. We don't condone torture. We would gladly investigate that. Well, it's very unfortunate if he was injured uh, that way. But obviously there is a procedure for retirement, I think, and if he's an officer, he knows how this works. He should be able to apply accordingly, and that can be considered by the commission's board. The aggrieved soldier said he opted to seek justice in the civil courts after trying many avenues within the army without success. His lawyer, who has already filed the case, says his client should be treated, compensated and retired. That's why we have taken uh, the attorney general to court to represent the army and several army officers uh, that tortured him, as he will tell you. That's why we have taken them to court for compensation. UPDF spokesman Lieutenant Kano Ankunda says the aggrieved soldier should have followed the laid down procedures in the army to get justice. Agnes Nandutu, NTV, Kampala.